just jumping on both of us trying to wake us up <laughs> I, got, I got this side hi you have so much energy right now give mommy a kiss did you hurt your head no oh you faker good morning yeah just woke up decided i was gonna vlog today i think we have some fun stuff to do today also just want to show you kind of uh, a day in the life at this airbnb that we've been at in armand by the sea i think it's called we're just outside of daytona and it's just like a really cute quiet beach town and we're here for the month and i just wanted to to vlog and show you a little bit what we've been up to honestly just regular life just in a new place with some sunshine not complaining oh no so many smudges oh thank you kiss Oh, just steal glasses. Okay. Sage stole my glasses, so I can't see anything. Let's start the day. Huh? Yeah? Yeah? Where's Dada? Say Dada. Say Dada. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Say Mama. 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 Say, Say, Say Cashew. Cashew. Where's Cashew? Cashew. Oh, she's right there. She's a right. Watch the feet. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> she's honestly so good with Cashew. Look at that. Nice. Aw. Sorry, Cashew. She wants to say hello. Nice. Say hi, Cashew. A meal prep for Seiji, even when we're away from home. I just have some pre-made oatmeal, so I'm just gonna heat it up on the stove. You want to put them back in the bag? Do you want to put them back in here? Put them back. Okay. The other day at Target, it's there's only like two sizes left. This is a double XL, but I love it. It's cute. It has that like slouchy, comfy vibe, you know. It's like pajamas or real clothes. I would wear them for both. Sage almost just discovered crackers. That's probably a choking hazard, so you can't have these, and they're very, very salty. Yeah, I know. She's like, what was that salty goodness? I knew it. As soon as you went quiet, I knew you were eating something. I knew it. Okay. Okay. So 
So for breakfast, Seiji is having some sweet potato that I roasted yesterday. And then just some, this was apple cinnamon oatmeal that I just added some frozen blueberries to. So I'm just letting that cool. Sweet potato and oatmeal, yum. Oh, that's one way to use that. <laughs> Whoa. See, even mashed up food, they can still self-feed. I'll even like, sometimes with oatmeal, if it's drier, I'll put like little blobs and she likes to use her hands or the spoon, whichever way works. Seiji is still napping. I just did my meditation. I'm gonna do a little bit more work before she wakes up. I have a campaign outline I have to hand in today, so I'm gonna get that in and then maybe go to the farmer's market. We'll see. I feel like it's a good day to go. car she driving sage is in the back i was wondering why she was being so happy back there and it's because she's playing with this one of my little tripods for my vlog camera you can hear her like investigating it that's all you gotta do is give them something obviously that's still like baby friendly like there's no small parts that can come off of it but she is just like ooh, something new um anyways we are it's just chloe and i and sage girls day we are going to check out a local farmer's market it's open until 11 and it's like one. almost it's open till one. oh sorry it's open till one and it's like almost 12 30 so we don't have much time and we both forgot money like i have i don't even have a card like i have a the wallet thing on my phone you don't have your wallet no i didn't bring my wallet i was just like mom brain i just thought <laughs> you know what i brought snacks for sage her diaper bag <laughs> and i brought a farmer's market bag for nothing Anyways, Chloe does have money. So if I like really see something, you know, I can pay her back. But yeah, total mom brain. Anyways, we're going to get Sage out. We're going to check out the farmer's market. We only have half an hour. And then we'll at least see if it's like worth going to next week. Um, there are a few around us, but this is the closest one. So let's go check it out. I just, I needed a, a little break, you know, from work, from life. Just do something fun. Okay, the trick is to hook snacks. There you go, so she can still have access without losing it. I'll show you guys what we got. Not too much, because we kind of went to, at the end, so there wasn't a lot of veg. I also have to warm up Sage's lunch. So I got these really pretty, I think these are oyster mushrooms. Ooh, so I got a bag of those. I'm planning on making some kind of pasta. 
maybe for dinner tonight. These were kind of pricey eggs. They were $10 US for the carton, but they're so pretty. Look at them. Like robin egg blue. Ugh. So I just, you know what? I like to support local farmers and this stand that I got most of the veggies from are all organic and all local. So I thought I'm gonna support them and try out some produce from them. Everyone there was like raving about their potatoes. They had like sweet potatoes, purple potatoes, like three different kinds and they looked really good, but we have some right now. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll wait. I got some uh, cucumbers and zucchini. And then I got these really pretty daikon radishes. Half of these are cucumbers, half are zucchini. And then there was this really sweet Italian guy who was doing the cheese booth and I got uh, feta cheese. We got a goat uh, picaroni, picarono, pecori pecorino. I'm probably butchering that. Chloe got some honey, just a small little guy. And then this is also going to go with the mushrooms. I got this truffle buffalo cheese and it was really good. The Italian guy was just like giving us so many samples of cheese and it was all delish. So we got that, I'm gonna put it in the fridge and I don't even know what we're having for lunch, but I'm gonna get Sage's food heating up and then I'll put this away and figure out what lunch is gonna be. Are you okay over there? Okay. Sagey is having some leftover breakfast from yesterday. We got some pancakes and scrambled eggs. Is that good? Okay. <laughs> And then for myself, I'm having a very random lunch. This is some like basil, ginger, beef, rice stir fry thing I made for Sage. I just added salts to it and I'm gonna have it with a fried egg on the side. I'm just cooking them all in one pot so I don't have to wash too many dishes. And then randomly I'm craving the truffle buffalo cheese on top. I don't know, I just have a craving. No, I'm not pregnant. It's a really weird combination. But actually not really. I'm kind of craving like a Thai. There's like a Thai dish that's like ground beef with an egg and some spice and ginger and stuff. It's really good. I'm just craving the cheese because it was really yummy at the market. So I'm going to add there's a fly in here. Sage is like playing. I don't even think she's that hungry because she filled up on rice puffs. But she is just throwing her breakfast. All no, it's her lunch, but breakfast food all around. But she's happy. She's not screaming. I'm going to be able to eat my lunch. So... It's all good. I really feel like I should have put some makeup on today if I was gonna vlog, but whatever. She's doing so well. Wow. Oh, oh, well, oh. that was short lived. <laughs> you brat. Oh, no, okay. How much water is in there? No, no, no. Oh, no. Sage? Oh my god, I need two hands. Sage, there's water everywhere. Do you want more to drink, not to throw? Oh, man. Okay, my eggs are done. Oh, very done, okay. Oh, that's an ant, ew. This smells delish, I have to say. You know, just when mommy thinks you got it, you're not gonna throw the water everywhere. You still do. Oh, this smells amazing. Yeah, yeah. You're done? Yeah. Right when mommy's gonna eat? That's great. That's great. So I pulled it out just in time. The yolk is still runny. This is what I was craving, guys. Kind of a random lunch, but honestly, I love leftovers for lunch. Add a fried egg if you need to. This already has protein, but I was just craving an egg. And I have some blueberries on the side that were already in a bowl. So I just thought to use those up. And Sage is uh, just hanging out with me. Yeah, I think she's done. So maybe I'll eat this in the living room while I watch her play. So I don't know if I explained, but like Matt and I do, we switch days, especially since we don't have childcare right now. We did back at home for like a few months before we came here, but now we do not. We might look for someone to help us in January while we're here, 
Um, just because it's been really hard to just to, like, get work done since we're not on like a winter vacation. We're still working. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we alternate days. Um, we try to do two days a week for Matt, two days a week for me, and then the other person is on stage duty. And today is my day on stage duty. And um, just trying to get some work done, some stuff around the house done, hang out with this girl, make sure that she has a fun day. I do think she enjoyed the farmer's market. And just try to fuel myself with some food. Life gets busy with a baby and you sometimes forget about yourself. All done. I might have to share this recipe. Problem is, I create so many recipes, but I just don't have time to like fully recipe test them and share them with you guys. Cause like, life has just been busy with sage, man. Oh, it's hard. Um, oh no, we lost it. So we are just hanging out, playing. She loves like taking things out, putting them back in and loves books. I think it's so cute that she just like plays independently now. Like what? She's literally opening up a book. I just got off the phone with my girlfriend, Ashley, who just had a baby boy, baby Lucas, and he's so cute. I finally got to meet him on FaceTime. And yeah, he's like the cutest thing ever. We call him Sage's uh, future boyfriend because they're only a year apart and they're gonna be besties. You just wait, Sage. Um, but yeah, it was really nice just to connect and see her. You know, I'm slowly just trying to get all my friends to have babies, so we can have mom dates. Hi. Hi. Can mommy kiss? Can mommy have a kiss? She always does that, she's like Mwah. How are you do You're too good at that now. Here you go. Yay! I also recently got her this farm book. Old MacDonald had a farm. She loves that song. And this one is like interactive. Like they can, it's called polka dot. And they can like push in these little plastic things and turn the page and like count the animals and do that. Anyways, she's been enjoying it. Wow. You wanna play with that one? So yeah, we are just chilling. Nothing too exciting happening. Um, I was able to do a little bit of work while she was napping, but she didn't really actually, sorry, Chloe's getting ice. Chloe and Javon just got back from the grocery store and she brought Krispy Kreme donuts and I said, those are not allowed in this house. <laughs> They're, I wouldn't even say they're my favorite donut. They're like so overly sweet. I don't know. I would much prefer just a regular Tim Hortons honey dip. That's, what'd you say? Also, Matt got up a new video today. Big news, cause it's been like a month since he's posted. This one's a really good one. It's a beginner's guide to investing. So if you are like, I don't even know where to start, what different types there are, why everyone needs to be investing in some shape or form. Definitely check out his new video. I'll link it down below. It's a lengthy, it's like his longest video of just him talking, but he, it's very thorough. And I've seen like little snips here and there, but I'm actually gonna sit down and watch it too. Because even though I have lived with Matt for a very long time, I feel like there's still things that I don't know. And I'm gonna pick his brain via watching his video. So definitely go check that out. Subscribe to his channel. He posts all like the real estate investing money side of our life. Um, so and just creating financial freedom. I don't even know what movie we're watching. Wish Dragon? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go do some playing. I'm going to have a snack and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, Sage. No. Keep the snack in here. Oh, Sage. This probably have dog hair on them now. Oh, okay, we're going in the high chair. Thank you all for coming here. Enemy. Puppies. Aww, Just a little afternoon hangout outside. Punch that cookie down. Mm. Cookies. 
Made some cereal. I'm just gonna chill a bit before Sage's dinner. Let's see those teeth. Let's see those teeth. Oh my god, this is the best time of the day because the sun is just like starting to set, but it just looks really like calm and clear and bright. And I guess that's why they call it like the happy hour. It's I think five o'clock. Matt's actually feeding Sage dinner. I think she's giving him a hard time, but I wanted to come out here and talk to you guys a little bit about like why the real reason why we're in Florida, the tea. Do people still say that? So it's been like, what, a month and a half since we've been here. And honestly, I feel like when we were originally making like the plans to come here, there were a lot of people, a lot of loved ones, and I know they meant well, but that were just like, oh, like didn't think that we should come here. And, you know, and I get it. Cause like we have Sage and they're just trying to like make sure we're safe, you know, with what's going around the world and whatnot. And honestly, I feel like there comes a point in your life that you just have to do stuff for you and not for other people and there were a lot of reasons why we we could have made up in our head like oh we shouldn't go so it's an airplane anyways what i was saying is i feel like we could have came up with so many reasons not to come here you know just seemed too stressful too hard how are we going to make things work are we going to be able to you know take care of sage work full time and do all the things that we need to get done like we had a really comfortable system going on back at home you know we finally had an awesome nanny who we miss so much um but we just had like a good flow going on and it was nice because we had family around the corner um, but honestly i feel like both of our mental healths were struggling like going through everyone you know had a, has had a really hard couple of years in, in so many different ways and i can only speak to our journey and it's not to say like mine is like worse or better than anybody else's um, i can just only speak to what we've gone through or what i've gone through personally and like all i know is becoming a mom during all of this was just like such um an intense experience it just it was really hard and you know i feel like i made it through but then you know after so many months i just felt super i was just starting to get like really depressed and lonely and you know everything was feeling very isolated still back at home and with all the restrictions it just wasn't somewhere where I felt happy anymore and I was just I didn't know if it was postpartum depression I didn't know what it was but I just wanted I needed a change and coming out here you know this is something we've always planned too it's not like it wasn't like that much of a surprise for us sorry there's like so many planes coming out here was always a plan for us like three years ago we always said oh wouldn't it be cool to you know go to Florida for the winter maybe buy an investment property or something and that's always been something that has been on our like vision boards and stuff kind of in the back of our mind and we wanted to do it two years ago we were like like getting ready to go planning things out and then we kind of backed out mainly probably mainly because of me I feel like I get cold feet a lot with like change and you know when I'm I just I don't know I like routine I like my comfort zone and when things change I kind of start to it like definitely is a trigger for me uh, mentally and it was that but also with work and I think the prices were going to be really high and we just decided okay you know what like not this year and then you know what like the pandemic happened we got pregnant we had sage and I'm so grateful for you know everything going well and and me being healthy, Sage being healthy, and of course Matt being healthy and all that. Like I'm so appreciative of that. And you know, this is in no way like complaining, but it definitely wasn't the experience that I thought it was gonna be. You know, you think you have a newborn and you get to like see all your friends and family and it just wasn't that. We were so secluded and alone for the, a good chunk of Sage's life. And it was just, you know, I'm, I'm happy that Matt and I have such a strong relationship and we really do work as a team i always say that's like one of our biggest assets as a couple but it was just like a really challenging hard time and like just emotionally i think it was just really hard on me and you know when we kind of started talking about maybe leaving for the winter 
you know, especially since we had been here already back in June and we kind of got a feel for what it would be like with a baby, you know, we just decided to, we were going back and forth about it and we just decided to make the leap and come here, even though we did have people tell us that we shouldn't. We also had people tell us that if you're able to like do it, you know, you live once. And like I said, you gotta sometimes make choices for what's best for you and your family and not what everyone else is telling you to do. And I get it, like, it's it's hard, it's scary to make leaps. And like, even just being here, I think emotionally is, has been such a roller coaster for me. Like there's times I feel amazing and then there's times that it's hard. And like, you know, even being in a tropical paradise, like there's still stresses around the world. Um, you know, work is really busy for us right now. We're short staffed. Um, there's just like, there's projects I'm working on, like all good stuff, but it just is like, it's just hard. And then when we don't have childcare and Matt and I are kind of like balancing Sage and obviously making sure that she's getting a good childhood and like having a fun time here and all that is obviously like top priority. Um, but just trying to find like a new balance here. And, you know, I don't really know what the future plans are or anything. Um, you know, right now we're just here for the winter to get away. I honestly just couldn't go through another winter being stuck at home. And like, I would, I always would just think like, what if all of a sudden they say families can't get together for Christmas? And like, that's just such an important time of the year for me. And it was really hard last year feeling like we couldn't celebrate with family. And even the small family I did celebrate with, like I got flack for on Instagram or on my YouTube channel. You know, and I just think that, um, yeah, do live your life for you and not others. And anyways, the main reason why we are here is a change of scenery, a, you know, stepping outside our comfort zone. And yeah, I just feel like I've grown a lot as a person being here. And it's not even about lo the location. Like, I really do like Florida. I think it's a great, beautiful place. And there's so, just so much diversity here. Um, but honestly, it's just the act of, like I said, leaving my comfort zone, trying something new and doing things for us and not other people, which I'm such a people pleaser. So anytime like I'm disappointing someone or I'm going outside of the norm, it's really hard for me, but I'm just like really proud of myself that I made the move literally <laughs> to come here and, you know, just like continuing to push outside my mental health comfort and, you know, it's a journey like man, the mind, it's, it's crazy. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. We definitely want to try to get like an investment property here. Um, that's always kind of been the plan too. So, we're, you know, we are working at looking at places and stuff and who knows, you might be able to stay at a health nut Airbnb here eventually. That is just a little update on kind of what we're doing here. And we're just kind of taking things like month by month, like we still have to book January here. And, um, but yeah, we're here in this little beach town for until January 5th. And then we're, we got to figure out our next move. Like I said, we kind of came here like quickly <laughs> just cause we're like, we gotta, let's leave before the snow and stuff. But I don't know. There's just like so much crazy news all the time going on in the world. And like, I had to just shut it all out. It was just like consuming me and making me really upset. Like I was getting to a point that I was crying every day and it just wasn't healthy for me. It wasn't healthy for Sage. Anyways, um, wow, this lighting almost makes me look like I have my hair done and makeup done. Not really, but, <laughs> but it's so cute. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. The only reason I'm even able to be here right now is because I have this amazing freaking job that I feel so blessed every single day that I get to do. Like, you don't understand how much it even helps me mentally. Like, when I'm feeling stressed or anxious, like, being able to focus on my work and connect with you guys is so healing and is, has been a part of my recovery. Some of my darkest times, you know, I've still been making videos and I found it so helpful to like as a healthy distraction. So I'm just really grateful for this job and I love bringing you guys along on our journey, what we're up to, life with a toddler. And you know, wellness and health is more than just, you know, green smoothies and yoga and cute workout outfits. It's really about protecting your space, your mental health, supporting what you need and to feel your best and just listening to your body, listening to your gut and following your own path and journey in life. And, you know, sometimes it aligns with other people's, sometimes it doesn't and that's okay. Um, but like Matt always reminds me, we have one life to live and um, you need to live it to the fullest. So 
we're trying, we're trying to do that even with a crazy one year old, but um, I just love you guys so much. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Like, subscribe, all the things, ring the bell. Okay, bye guys. I'll, I'll leave you to this beautiful pool background. Bye. <laughs>